Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's episode is the continuation of our heat star garage heater here and uh, beforehand guys if you haven't done so please hit the subscribe button and at the same time hit that bell uh, so that way you can get notified for all the videos going forward. Well guys as you've seen from the first episode uh, we have basically measured uh, our location there and laid out and uh, put the mock-up on where this heater is going to be and uh, we have uh, put our uh, braces in place and our wiring harness now I've pretty much measured my first uh, bar and the front and also the second one at the back uh, as you can see guys I have all the markings required uh, based on the positioning that I have in there where the joist is going to be at uh, and uh, well I'm going to be drilling um, the holes and at the same time which uh, which portion or which uh, of this uh, slots I'm going to be using to be able to um, put our, our uh, rod to hold this up basically. Well guys we got our first hole technically here so that's going to be going into the joist um, I made it slightly um, tighter there to kind of have it that grub hold um, in the process so uh, yeah we'll continue on and, and drill the rest of the holes and uh, we'll go from there Show you what I've done on our homemade brace. Um, basically, here, guys, as you can see, that's the idea uh, behind this whole thing. Uh, I'll be basically bolting this into the joist uh, on each end, and then uh, basically all this uh, got, um, this this bolt here will be cut in half, of course. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, the bolt is tucked inside with the washer and also the the dumper itself. The rubber damper uh, will be sitting inside this so that way hopefully that will prevent some of that um, vibration in the process similarly on this other side guys as you can see this is what i've done basically uh, holes in here for the given uh, bolt that's going in for the rod and then uh, here's what we're going to be bolting through uh, our joists over here on those two bolts so anyways I might even add another one uh, if I can find the other uh, joist over there and maybe another one here for extra strength now it's time to uh, cut our uh, bolt in uh, in half here it's about a 12 inch uh, bolt and uh, the, the technique that I have here is basically I measured the uh, 6 inch uh, from here from the first bolt and I counter lock this other bolt over here so then I could basically cut this uh, bolt uh, clean um, this way. So as you can see guys, just uh, put this in the uh, vise. Uh, we got our 
good old Milwaukee saw here uh, with our metal blade and uh, basically just uh, chuck this through. Oops. Hold on to it. Yeah. Now we got two bolts here to play with and they're technically identical size and uh, we'll do the other one as well in the process here and we should be all good. Well here you go guys, we got four of this bolt now and we're pretty much ready to install it on the brace and uh, pretty soon we're going to be fastening all those brace up in the, uh, the ceiling there. So. Stay tuned. All right, guys. Just want to show you guys the process on uh, how I'm uh, how I'm putting the uh, this bar here or this bolt down over here. Basically, I'll, I'll be inserting the uh, the rubber uh, uh, dumper uh, along with our um, washer here. So technically, I will have to find a way to get the uh, washer uh, in in here through the hole over here, I guess, and. Um, we will be having it sitting inside this tube and uh, that's how it's going to be inside technically here guys all right folks so time to insert this uh, washer and the uh, the dumper the rubber dumper inside this tube so we i'm using this uh, uh what you call it a grabber insert it in as you guys can see and uh, then put a bolt in. There we go, guys. We got one in, and that's basically it, guys. Um, it's easy enough to just insert this thing. Um, inside the tube and be able to get that uh, rubber and the washer. Well guys, it's time to uh, drill some holes up here. I already put some pilot holes in there. So uh, we'll be drilling it and then we'll be installing that uh, first one, uh, first rod in the front. Put this rod in place now.
just want to show you folks what I have here for uh, the pulley system. What I came up with here is that I got uh, two of these angle brackets um, that I'll be using to mount up in the, uh, the joists up there. And basically I'll be joining it this way, um, screwing the, uh, sandwiching the actual pulley in between. And uh, I have my bolt over here. So I'll be bolting this up and basically uh, mounting this on the joists basically in the process. So that's what we're gonna be doing guys. Uh, as you can see here guys, I just used my Milwaukee again and chopped the uh, brace off because I don't need all that uh, uh, extra brace there. Just wanted something to um, sandwich the uh, um, my uh, pulley here in the process. So that's how it's going to be looking like. And uh, got my bolt. So that's how that's going to be guys. I'm gonna lock that in. And uh, I'll be bolting it up there right in the middle. So that's how our pulley system going guys. That's it guys, all done, ready to be mounted. Well, folks, this concludes today's episode. Uh, again, guys, just make sure that all the parts that you're using are rated for over 200 pounds um, in the process for safety, guys. Very important for the pulley here. It's about 500 pounds, and uh, the rest of this are, are way more than what you need, truly, to carry that 200 pounds uh, heater. So, anyways, guys, stay tuned. Again, till next time, peace out.